What's going on, Twitch and YouTube? Zero Lead here. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode. Welcome to episode 15 of the USS Cerrito tutorial. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And today we have about a 30 minute video. <clears throat> we're going to be doing a tiny bit of detail on our deflector dish, but we're mostly going to be focusing on adding in some layering for the lower side of the saucer. So this way when um, we close it in, uh, we shouldn't have any problems. So let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. We're pretty much going to be adding in a couple of brown blocks on the sides here on the left and right to thicken that line up because that's just... Um, I think it's just way too thick. Let's see, making that change, it has brought it all the way down to the very first cut. I did the same thing on both the left side and the right side. But I think that looks, uh, just that change alone, um, the deflector dish is spot on right now. I don't think we need to change anything else about this thing. And um, I'm really happy with how this area came out. Like I'm to the point where like I'm super excited to do the Enterprise D because of how well this area came out. Yeah, it's looking it's looking really good. Definitely liking the progress that we're making here. And it definitely feels good when you get something done on the first uh, first or so attempt. So we're going to jump into the next part of this. And now we're going to go along the lip of our circle. And we're going to add half slabs going down one all the way along the cut. So I'm going to start it. I want to make sure we get rid of the access because remember we're going along with the cut. I'm going to bring this all the way across to the other side until I hit the cut. And I'm just going to follow that going all the way around the saucer. And then I believe after that we're going to come back and then do a row of full concrete blocks. We'll verify that in just a second here, but I'm pretty certain that's what we're going to do here. It's pretty much what we're doing is we're just adding a couple more layers to the lower side of the hull. So this way when we close it in, it's not completely flat and it's got some depth to it. Both those blocks and get rid of those. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to do the whole thing live, but you want to definitely do that for your bill going all the way around. And then we're going to come back with a row of white concrete directly behind the half slabs. Now our first inner ring, you can see how we have the half slabs going all the way around. You want to get rid of those. Um, I'm not going to do all that on camera. I'm going to do that off camera to save a little bit of time. You definitely want to go around your first inner ring and get rid of all those half slabs going around. Because now with us bringing the lip down and adding a half slab and then a full concrete block going all the way around, um, it's going to get lost when we close it all in, that row of half slabs going around the first inner ring. <clears throat> so we continue this. If you're um, following me on Twitch tonight, I definitely appreciate you for tuning into this video um, on Twitch TV forward slash Zero Elite. And don't forget, you can always catch me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Zero Elite. My fellow YouTube uh, subscribers if you're watching this on my youtube channel go what are you waiting for go check out my twitch uh, channel i have new streams coming out sundays through thursday nights typically between 9 and 10 p.m eastern 
but the people have been asking me to do streams. This is really for you, and you uh, get an opportunity to ask me questions in real time um, while I'm doing the build. So I think that's definitely pretty cool. Um, but I do want to hop back in what we got going on here. So you can see off camera, I've gone around and done a full ring of half slabs with a full row of white concrete blocks behind that. And then on our first inner ring, we've gotten rid of our half slabs. So now we're going to go back and we're going to add another row of white concrete directly underneath our current ring. And then we're going to go back and then add a row of half slabs moved down by one, just like we did in the very front. So this way you just literally have a half slab lip at the very bottom. It's so pretty much what I'm doing is taking that half slab row and we're moving it down by one. So because if you think of it like this, in a little bit, we're going to fill in this area here. So if we would have left the half slab here, it would have gotten lost with all these blocks. And that first inner ring with the half slabs. And the full blocks, uh, you're going to be doing that all the way around until you get to your V line. You're obviously not going to be able to bring it along the back part of your ship, but you'll bring that all the way up to the V. And now our lower orange ring, we're going to add another layer to it. And this is again for the purpose of closing in our lower hull which we're actually going to be doing in this episode. So all the fruits of our labor uh, from the last couple of episodes are really going to pay off today because now we get to start closing up the rest of the ship, which is really cool. And I'm actually going to be adding one more row. So we're going to want to do three rows total, counting the original row that we have on our orange ring here so really you're just adding two more rows you're going to do that going all the way around and of course the v line going back to where there's the yellow line you're going to do that going on the underside too so you're going to bring it all the way back to here. All right. In just a moment, we're going to flip over to the next part where I'm actually going to fill in some of this. You can see I'm just showing you again a good representation that you're bringing this all the way around. I actually think we're going to settle on two or just one additional row going all the way around. So if you're still working on that first row, just do um, an extra layer going all the way around your yellow circle. And then the yellow V line on each side, just bring that all the way back on each side. But adding that second row underneath it, I've decided that we're not going to do that. It's going to be a little bit too much. Because sometimes it's going to happen. You're going to think that you need to do one thing, but then the more you think about it, you know, you figure out that you just don't need to do that. I mean, it's, it's going to happen because trying to pre-build out part of this in my head, envisioning how this is going to go when we close it in. Hopefully, all of it works out just fine. Um, I think it will. Shouldn't have too many problems. I forgot to mention this very back part here. We're going to continue on adding another row. I want to make sure you do that for both sides. We're just doing the for the bottom side right now. We're not working on the top side of the saucer. All right, and we're in good shape. We're rocking here. I've been definitely having um, quite a few comments on uh, Facebook regarding what my next builds are going to be. Um, I've definitely set on doing uh, the USS Enterprise D next. Um, one of the reasons I'm building the Cerritos is specifically 
um, to prep myself for the Enterprise D. But uh, believe it or not, I also had a ton of people requesting the Cerritos as well. Um, and the Enterprise D. So it just kind of worked out uh, really well in that way. But uh, after that, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I, I don't really want to commit to anything at the at the moment, just in case, for whatever reason, uh, plans change and I change my mind. Um, I've done enough of these builds at this point to know not to plan out too far because your, your mood can always change. You may not be filling the same build when you get to that point if you start uh, planning stuff out too far ahead. But um, I think at this point, my plan is to stay in... <clears throat> excuse me, to stay in the TNG era of ships for a while, uh, I'd like to build quite a few of them. I have a list of uh, ships that I would love to build. Um, of course, you know, the Enterprise D will be next. Uh, I definitely want to make Voyager, um, Enterprise E, um, Stargazer is another one. Even uh, the Defiant from Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine itself would be cool. I don't know if I'll be able <clears throat> to pull off all of those ships in Minecraft. I'm going to try to. But we're going to see what happens. Um, I don't know if those ships are going to happen in that order. But um, I definitely plan on uh, making as many of them as I possibly can. Um, and even if I don't do it right away, it could be something that maybe I do... Um, end up doing quite a few TNG era ships if I don't do it, you know, if I do something else, I'll probably end up coming back to it because this is going to be something that I plan on doing indefinitely. So, um, for whatever reason, if I don't get to your build right away, do not let that discourage you. It just means that I'm probably going to do it later on down the road once I've had more people ask for it. It's this way. When I do the tutorial, um, there's a little bit more interest for it. So, I've did just uh, this a little bit fast here. I'm going to rewind it so you can see what I'm doing here. But now we're starting to fill in this hull line here. And I'm literally just going off the very bottom row and I'm bringing that all the way in. So you can see that literally just connects to your ring here. We're not going to go anything past the ring for the moment. And we're going to do this going all the way around. So I'm going to take the liberty of filling the rest of this in off camera so we don't have to sit through that. Uh, that should definitely help us out here in the progress of this build. You can see I've already, the next part got it all transitioned over. It looks nice and clean. We have just enough room that we should be able to um, do what we need to do. Now, I'm actually going to go back around our inner ring. And on the above block here you can see i'm doing an outline of gray concrete the reason i'm doing this is because i don't want this ring to get lost when i fill in the rest of the hull because i'm going to use this ring as an outline to build one of my circular corridors um, that's something that i like to do in my builds uh, if i can use a line or a circle in more than one way i'll definitely do it and um this is kind of um is one of those things where it just it really works out because I can use this ring in multiple ways. You know, in one way we're using it as a hull line, and another way we're using it as a transition line on our actual physical hull, um, and then we're also using it um, as a marker for our uh, circular corridor. Um, if you don't build your ships that way, I highly recommend it because uh, definitely will help you save a lot of time having to prep some stuff out just by putting this ring down um, right here in this particular spot. I know that, you know, it's at least serving three functions, which is pretty cool. Definitely saves some time. But we're going to bang out the rest of this ring. You can see I'm not going to be able to go all the way along the back wall here. I'm going to try to wherever this ring is intact, and now I've switched to blue because I want this line to stand out. You can always change it later on. All right, now we're in the back side of the ship before we were in the left side, shuttle bay. I could just switch back to the gray. Fill in a little bit of that. No, but I definitely want to maintain this ring. Uh, even if I don't, use it back here um, and i have a feeling that i might not have a hallway in this part of the ship at least it may not look like this um, but just in case i decide to go back to it and have a circular uh, corridor in between the two shuttle bays 
at least I know this ring is here and I have a marker here to go by. But not quite ready to really get into the interior just yet. But, you know, again, that doesn't mean that we can't prep out one or two things here or there, which is kind of what I got going on. But once I finish this, then we're going to work on a couple more things on our lower hull here and then continue on closing in parts of it. We're definitely rocking. We're already 13 minutes into the episode. We still have an additional 17 minutes to go. And now we're over the right side shuttle bay. Just inside the shuttle bay, you can see I'm changing this block to the blue, just because that's how I did it on the other side. Even though in this room, I know I'm not going to have a shuttle bay. Or... What I, uh, I apologize, my cats are running around the house, which I'm sure you, you all hear me talking about quite a bit here and there. What I meant to say is that I won't have a corridor going through my shuttle bay. Um, but I'm not sure how I'm going to blend all of that together just yet. But we'll get there. All right, so we're just banging out the rest of this, and then we got a couple more things to work on here. Yeah, um... I haven't had too many people asking questions regarding the build. I think I've been doing a lot better uh, job at explaining things uh, on this tutorial, but for whatever reason, during this episode, if you get stuck, drop a comment below, either on Twitch or on YouTube, um, or if it's on Twitch and you get stuck, uh, DM me, actually. That would be the best thing to do, because um, they may not see the comment after the stream. But on uh, YouTube, definitely drop a comment below. Let me know where you're getting stuck. I'll try to see what I can do to help you out. Because um, I definitely know what it, feel, what it feels like when you're just trying uh, to start out building ships on here. Or if you're not quite sure what to do. Um, but I've done enough of these things that I can wing this thing out. Um, All right, so now we're going to start closing in more of the hull, and you see that I've gone down one block. And we're going to bring this until we can't close in anymore. So we're going to come into our inner V, and into our, uh, actually before we get to our inner V, we're going to go all the way out to our uh, yellow ring. And I think that's where I'm going to stop this at. <clears throat> I'm doing part of it now. I'm not going to build all of it live like uh, I've been doing this episode, but I'm going to show you how far I'm going to bring it back so this way you can do the same thing in your build and then pause the episode until you get caught up and then continue on. But I'm definitely not going to be filling in all of this live just because I think it'll uh, save a heck of a lot of um, unnecessary time being taken up. All right, perfect. So I filled all that in and I've only gone up to the... Uh, To the yellow ring here and I of course I'm not stopping there long enough to take a look at but we're gonna go back up to it in just a second right now I'm just gonna throw down a couple of lanterns or excuse me lamps on uh, candles or whatever you want to call them torches I'm gonna put a couple of the cor torches on the actual uh, engines because now that we're closing in our hull it's gonna get really really dark down here so Better to do this now rather than after we fill all of it in, and it's super, super hard to see. Yeah, I can verify that we uh, filled all that in all the way up to the yellow line. Uh, that's all you're going to be filling in on the hull right now. We're not going to do anything past that just yet. We'll do a little bit more as we go. Right now, we're just getting in some lighting. Placement on this doesn't have to be perfect. You can see I'm shifting a, a couple of them around. Um, I think the main thing right now is just get a couple of lights down on uh, the nacelles this way. Um, as we're closing in the hull, we'll still be able to see down here. All right, we're looking good. Getting a lot done today. So I'm thinking that I might add another row to this yellow. 
this way we have a transition line here and we'll give uh, some depth to our hull once it's all closed in. So I'm just going to go along the yellow line now and just add another row completely for the circle and then also the V on the sides. We're just doing one, one row. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe now by adding this row, now we're going to have to go into the V um, and add in another row or two. So this way it sticks out just one further. Yeah, because right now, um, the way my hull is, it's the same thickness as that dark gray V. But we want that dark gray V to come out one more than my yellow line that I just added. <clears throat> trying to figure out if I want to add another row to the very, very back three blocks of yellow. I haven't decided yet. So I'm trying to play out in my head how this is all going to go. But I think I should be able to transition it um, and blend it all in. I think for right now, we're just going to finish adding in another row of our yellow and then we'll get there. We'll cross that bridge in just a few moments. We still have about 10 minutes left. Still have a couple of things to do. But we are starting to approach the interior of this build. Um, if there are certain things that you want to see me work on for the interior on the Cerritos, definitely let me know in the comments section. would love to hear from you. Uh, regarding what rooms you want to uh, want me to add uh, there's definitely of course the traditional rooms like uh, sleeping quarters mess hall bridge uh, i know that uh holodeck is going to be one of the rooms that i add um you know engineering medical bay but aside from that is there anything from the show that i'm not thinking of off the top of my head that maybe you would like to see you know again let me know in the comments section you never know i might just add it on my build um but this one will definitely be a little bit trickier to do the interior on just because there's so much um, little of uh, screenshots taken of the ship. But we'll improvise where we can and fill up what we can um, and kind of see where we land. If I don't have a fully completed interior, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to do what I can at this point. So you can see I'm just going along the hull line here. This is a longer inner ring and I'm just literally going along the gray line. I'm following it. Because I want to add an additional thickness like I was talking about. So now I'm going along the outline of the V, but now we're on the very back end of the saucer. We're at that part where we had a bunch of cuts of the circles. Um we had like three or four of them we placed on the back end of the saucer. And this was the very back one which was that uh light gray color. It's the same one I'm using right now. So hopefully you don't have any issues, but I don't uh, foresee anybody having any problems with this. But again, if you do, let me know in the comments section. I'll try to see what I can do to help. But I think this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. We're just literally filling in the outline of the gray. And if you zoom out and look at your saucer, it's the inner gray V. I'm just going to continue on and do this going all the way around. And then what, what I'll do is in the center of this, I'll add, I'll just fill it all in. So this way, you know, there's no lip going going along here. When we close all of it in, I might come back with like a half slab, kind of like cut how much of uh, the lip is or the actual 
um, wall, I should say, or the 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 hull line here. That could be a thing, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to see how that looks. That is one of the fun things about building a ship for the first time. You're not quite sure how it's going to come out. I've been fortunate enough with this build that I really haven't had too many problems with it. Um, now, when we get to the upper side of the hull of the saucer, that will be a different story. I had a couple of problems with some detailing on the section that was behind the bridge. Um, we won't get into that in this episode, but in future episodes, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. It was very, very difficult to pull that look off, but uh, I think I came pretty close to what it was supposed to be. I didn't nail it, but I think I came pretty close. Sorry, right, where this little cut is along that part of the circle where that gray line is, we're just going to fill all that in. And that's just going to be the same line or same height as the rest of the white concrete around it. The only thing that should be sticking out is the gray. And for right now, this is all that I'm going to be filling in. One thing I have not done yet is added in lighting for the underside of the saucer, which I will need to do. Um, I'm still not sure what, what I uh, if I want to use like um, sea lanterns or maybe a torch. I don't know. I think I want to try to like keep it going how I did the uh, the Disco Era Enterprise, where I used the sea lanterns where I could and only used the the um, torches where I absolutely had to. If you're not sure where to add your torches, when in doubt, add it on the cut line. You say it on the cut line there, and then on that side on the right. Doing the corners. You can already see how dark this area is getting. And one thing that we haven't done, that we're going to have to re reserve some space for, is uh, building out the impulse engines under here. Which is pretty unique about the Cerritos, that it has impulse engines on the underside of the saucer kind of tucked away. I haven't even built them out yet, and I've uh, completed the exterior for the most part, aside from the impulse engines. Um, I'm looking forward to getting that part of the build done, and I might actually hop in and do that before we get into the interior, just to keep all of the exterior build together, uh, but we'll see what happens. All right, so now I'm going along... Uh, well, I thought I was going to go along the lip here again. Maybe add in another level. I think we're just going to do the corners for right now. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Excluding out the very far back one on the lip of the saucer. So I'm skipping that one. Now maybe I'm going to switch to half slabs. I'm making it to where there's the light gray concrete along the lip there. I'm trying to make a lip to where it can um I can add in another layer right there basically. Yeah, we're going to fill in white concrete going along that. I think that'll look really nice. Even if it's doubled right there, um, I don't think anyone will really notice. We definitely want to kind of cover up the fact that that light gray block is sticking out so much. And half slabs is definitely a way to go. I would love, and I say it all the time, I'd love if they had uh, 
colored half slabs. I've seen the suggestion on Mojang's website. There's like 10,000 people that have upvoted the suggestion. I don't know why they haven't added it into the game yet, but I mean, just that alone, I can only imagine some of the cool things that we'd be able to do with our builds if they had added it in. Now let's get the same thing on this right side, and we'll be in pretty good shape. Definitely digging the progress I'm making on this build. Again, I don't think this thing is going to go out nearly as far as my Disco Era Enterprise did. But um, that still excites me because before you know it, I'll be working on the next build. And that's kind of the way I want it. You know, I want to be able to um, spend a little bit of time on a build, but not over overstay its welcome. And I think that I did the best job that I could under the circumstances with the Disc or Enterprise. Consider I'd never done a tutorial before, but um, definitely wanted to cut down on that build time where possible. And you see I'm adding sea lanterns on the hull line. See that whole line right there? I'm going to do the same thing right here. That's how I'm getting the placement on that, adding it right on that whole line. All right, so once you have your whole outline of this V filled in, or excuse me, we have an additional row added all the way around it, so there's a lip, you're gonna fill all this in on the center. And I believe that's gonna be the last thing that we work on tonight. We've gotten a ton of, done, or a ton of work done on this build. I'm super happy with the progress that we've made. And, um, before you know it, we're really going to be in the interior of this thing, rocking and rolling. Let me get some lights going here in the deflector dish. It really needs it. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to see this thing. Like I said, right now I'm just doing torches. Eventually, I'll come in and I'll redo some of the lighting. I just want to get this stuff standing out now a little bit before uh, we get the rest of this closed in. But definitely digging the progress I've made here. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap up uh, episode 15. Nothing else uh, to work on today. Um, I just want to thank you very much again for tuning in to today's content. And if you did enjoy this video, if you can please help me out and hit that like and subscribe button, i greatly appreciate it. Um, don't forget, you can always catch my Twitch streams Sundays through Thursday nights between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern. And you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash zero elite. And um, I stream all sorts of stuff from my uh, Minecraft videos to my Starship Evo builds, as well as uh, the other games that I play. And if you're following me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash zero elite, you can always catch my new Starship Evo builds on Mondays. And then my new Minecraft videos Tuesdays through Fridays, those drop at 10 a.m. Eastern. But anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Any builds you want to see, drop a comment below. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week, and I'll catch you on the next episode.